a good goddamn. Got through July. 2021. Crazy world, crazy times. You know, every time you think you're getting over this COVID crap, there's a surge and there's, I'm, after more than a year, I just, you know, to the point, you know, people talking about lockdown, they don't work because people can't lock down for multiple reasons. Some people just don't, well, it's my freedom to go out and do what I want to do. So you got those people that, you know, if you said, if you go outside, you'll catch on fire, they'd still want to go outside. You got people that unfortunately wouldn't mind or would be willing to stay inside to let the virus pass, but they got to go to work, they got to pay bills, which goes into, in my opinion, how broken this system is, you know, um, years of companies and corporations trying to pay the least they can and keep profit margins going affects the working class because you know a lot of them are living paycheck to paycheck they got debt they got college loans they got to pay they got car loans they got the house payment and it just to me it just proves how kind of broken this society this world is i mean they always say working supposed to treat you to a better life then they say, well, you, you got to do more than work. You got to get these so-called privileged jobs, and then you're doing good. Well, you know, I've said it a million times. Not everyone can be a doctor. Someone's got to clean the hospital. Not everyone can be a lawyer. Not everyone can be in construction. Not everyone can do certain things. Um, I'm not a dumb person, but you would not want me to perform open-heart surgery on you. I can guarantee you that. <clears throat> um... And I, you know, in my mind, yes, a doctor should earn and have a, you know, a better standard of living than the custodian. But should the custodian struggle and not be able to pay his bills just because, I mean, some people, believe it or not, are too poor to even get a job. You know, be like, how is that possible? Well, if you can't, get, if you don't have a good phone number for them to reach, if you don't have the good clothes, if you don't have a way to get to work, if you don't have someone to watch the kids, if you don't have, I mean, you can listen, go on and on, and then you can go, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't have had kids then if you couldn't take care of them. Well, a lot of people are on this planet because their parents didn't plan them. Um, Things happen. And, you know, you got to work with what life throws at you. And I did it for many years. I worked a horrible theater job for 10 years because with my ex-wife's schedule and my daughter in school, it was the one job with the hours that fit what I could work. We had one vehicle. And, you know, I got her to work in the morning, got my kid to school. I went home and slept, picked them up, and then I went to work all night. I mean, and when you're scraping to survive, you know, people are like, well, go back to school and get a better, better education. Well, one... I'm not a book person. I'm not a school person. I wasn't good in that. And two, you know, it's like, oh yeah, get in debt. And hopefully you can get a good job to pay back that debt in time. It took 10 and a half years to pay back my ex-wife's college debt. I mean, and we could never recover every month. You know, three, four hundred dollars going out to these college loans. And my wife wasn't even working a job that her uh, college degree was in. Because, you know, we just, we had to survive. We had to pay the bills. We had to provide. And, I mean, I just hate how a lot of people are like, well, you just should do better. Well, there's really no good roadmap to follow in life. Everyone has their own path. We're not all the same. Um, You're going to have someone born to the richest family and be a lazy piece of shit and never contribute anything in the world but because their family was rich they'll be taken care of and have a great life you have a very smart person born to a very poor family and they never get a chance to shine because they never had the opportunity I mean life's not fair I've traveled I've seen places and just because some kids born in the middle of the Philippines should he not have a decent life 
economics is structured in the way that the value of money is placed in certain parts of the world and not in other parts. You know, that kid will never really get a good chance unless he just gets a lucky break. And that's another thing. A lot of people, well, I worked hard to get where I'm at. Well, I'm not going to say you didn't work hard, but there's also a lot of luck involved. I know many musicians that are better than anything you'll hear on the radio but because the right person didn't hear it. They never got famous or known enough. Um, and people are like, well, in this day and age, you can put music on YouTube. You can put music on SoundCloud. There's no reason you can't be discovered. Well, I've I've done it. I've had friends that are better than me do it. And we're still cleaning schools and we're still working construction and we're still uh, auditing businesses because we just haven't got that luck. We haven't got that lucky break. So you can work hard and hard and work hard and you never get a lucky break. Now, you can become jaded and bitter to the world or you just keep moving forward and like me I was bitter for a long time it's like why did I make it why did I get heard why did I get known not that I wanted to be world famous but I wanted to be able to travel and make music that's all I really wanted to do in life it took a long time to get over that the dream was gone but I've, I've stepped forward I'm doing what I do yeah it's just the way sometimes what's going on in the world makes you think. And I just want to be able to travel again. I don't want to have to think twice. And because of the way people are acting in this world, I got to think twice. You know, I was like, you know, talking about wearing masks. Well, everyone should be vaccinated by now. Oh, I've heard enough Facebook to know people are proud to not be vaccinated. So I'm, I'm supposed to trust my family's health and safety these strangers' hands that don't give a crap. So I'll keep waiting. I'll keep wearing my mask. People give me funny looks when I go into gas stations. I'm one of the only people wearing a mask anymore. And, you know, cases are surging. Uh, this Delta is strange. I'm sick of talking about COVID, but it's, it's what's in the world. That and people struggling due to finances, due to a myriad of things. You know, it's, it's funny. It's like, well, gee, when you build an economy on debt and then people have a disruption with the income, would we act surprised that people are having a hard time? You no. Know, our, our, our economy is built off of debt. The way it works, the banks, they always got to have someone in debt to keep making money. Uh, you know, we have the housing market bubble pop, uh, the car bubble starting to pop or started to pop when the COVID thing happened and people were, couldn't pay the couldn't pay the car payment. We're having a real estate bubble again. The prices are going crazy. I mean, when it comes to money and the economy and all that, I understand the economy and supply and demand. I, I understand it. I think it's stupid. We are a prisoner to our own device. We made up economics. We made up the dollar. We made up all of this. not to wear a mask you, you can choose not to do this but then you also got to bear the consequences and a lot of people that's the problem a lot of people want what they want but they don't want to bear any consequence to their actions and until people can realize that you can make your choice but you got to bear the consequence we're just gonna have a nation of very selfish egotistical me 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 people I just keep hoping one day everyone will realize that we're all in this together to, uh, I think Burkowski said it you know we're not going to get out of this shit show alive you think we'd be kinder to people we're all going to die you know we're all gonna, we all have a hard life in some form or another even the rich and famous people born into money they're going through things we're all going through things we just need to be kind to each other and try to have empathy and try to realize where everyone's coming from. On that note, bye-bye, July, hello, August. 
getting close to the end of another year. I didn't think I'd be talking about COVID this far from last year, but here we are. Yay, world. <laughs> Love you, man. Be safe.